more good things in life. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 317. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is Weekly Progress Update number 317, April 21st, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on the planet and to build self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is more good things in life, because One Community is purpose to provide more good things in the lives of everybody that lives there. And the way that it accomplishes that is by building on sustainable infrastructure and working cooperatively and collaboratively to reduce costs and to improve and increase the amount of time that people have and improve the quality of options that are available to the people with that free time. And the way that does that is through a social architecture and a fulfilled living model. Well, I'll let me break it down. So our highest good living approach takes physical sustainability and emotional sustainability and puts them together to create more good things in life. And the way that it does that is it takes the food, the energy, housing aspects, it combines them with the fulfilled living practices that we've identified as, well, I'm sorry, as with the highest good emotional practices that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good edu education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship puts those together to create a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way that's living right now. And it does that by creating environments that provide social and recreational opportunities that are more diverse and more available because they're all within walking distance, operated, owned by the people living within those environments, funded by the people within those environments, all within walking distance, and with more time to be able to participate in all of those activities. More good things in life, with more time to participate in all those good things in life by working cooperatively and collaboratively together. And it's really not any different than the way that corporations work to get things done right now, the way that fraternities and sororities work to get things done cooperatively and collaboratively, and the way that families work together to get things done cooperatively and collaboratively. Any other group that comes together and says, hey, we want to work together towards some common mission where a bunch of different people from perhaps very diverse backgrounds in the case of things like fraternities, sororities, and corporations, or where people that have grown up together, we're in a family, and we're working together towards this common goal. But in this environment, everything you see happening in the background of the video right here are examples of the sustainable environments that we're creating. In these environments, they're designed to provide a way of living that is better than the way most people are living right now and to bring everything in-house to be able to create the social recreational experiences that people often pay to go toward, to a club med type of experience or for a cruise type of experience where everything that you want is there at your finger trips and within walking distance. And it uses that model because it's efficient. It's efficient. You can have a very small number of people preparing enough food to feed a couple hundred people. And that means that those hundred people don't have to prepare the food for themselves. You could have a very small group of people doing laundry for a couple hundred people. And so those people no longer have to spend time doing that. You could have your education within walking distance, all of your shopping that needs to be done. For, and that's, this is for food that can't be grown on site. And we're designing it so that for people who want to, you can produce most of your food right on site. Better food, higher quality food, obviously locally grown so it's fresher food. It's going to taste better all on site, but if you need to go grocery shopping, a couple people can do the grocery shopping for a couple hundred people. And in so doing this and in living this way, people have more free time. And then there's aspects, then there's in that free time, time is devoted to the social architecture of the environment, to enrichment and to art and to personal growth and self-development and sharing that with each other. And so in our model, it's built directly into what it is that we're doing, but that's all optional. Because everything that one community is doing, all this more good things in life stuff that I'm talking about, it's all optional and it's all open source and free shared so that people can do it their way, so that you can do it your way. 
And we're designing it as a template, as a first model of prototypes so that people can see what it is that we're doing, so people can visit what it is that we're doing. They can come to one community, experience an earth bag home or a, a shipping container home or a recycled materials village or a treehouse home or the education model or the high school economic model. See how it all runs and take whatever components it is that people like and take the plans and the do-it-yourself instructions, the tutorials, the resources for free and replicate that or evolve it and make it better. And so this is what One Community is doing is we're showing people a pathway to more good things in life. We're open sourcing and free sharing it so that anybody who wants to can come and experience it. So anybody who wants to live this way can apply and become a part of our team and help us develop it as well. And we're doing it so we can demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the idea will become self-replicating and spread on its own. And so we're, you know, 350 plus volunteers at this point, well over 300, I think under 400 that have been working on this for nine years. We're all unpaid volunteers, including myself, I'm not paid for what it is that I do. And we're a nonprofit organization and we're creating this because we want to live this way and we want to open source it and free share it so other people who want to live this way can too. So people can visit and experience it if they're not sure if they want to live this way. And then if they decide that they do, so they have everything that they need to be able to replicate that for themselves or to evolve it and create another version of it, another iteration of it, so that there's another version out there. And if they want to open source and free share what it is they're creating, so they can join us in creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative for the highest good of all life on this planet to create a world that truly works for everybody, simultaneously addressing the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come because it's the right thing to do and because it's possible. And because that's the world that I want to live in that I know is possible. And we can create this, as I've talked about over and over in these updates, within our lifetime, if we can succeed in making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so the idea will spread its own, we can positively and permanently impact the lives of every single living person and creature on this planet by moving the planet towards a, a sustainable civilization, global sustainability, for the highest good of all life. And so this is what One Community is doing. And with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal. More good things in life for everyone. Check it out. The One Community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bag Village. Here's weekly update 155 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was finishing the housing dome structures and working on the new doors and above door window designs. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 47th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was creating a new pro tip icon that will include a QR code for additional web and video tutorials for improving the designs and another round of additions and updates to the electrical details. You can see some of this work here. Heymanth Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 33rd week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earth Bag Village. This week, he added cost analysis details for the nails that pass the engineering tests and finished the final version of the tutorial for the nail and rebar selection and spacing tool by adding cell number references and final content details. You can see this behind the scenes work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of 3D modeling the new Duplical City Center interior design details for the library. This week, we updated the texture for the brown sofas pillows to leather, changed the color of the green bean bag to red, and added books to the bookshelves on the right side. We also added a one inch divider between the floor colors and placed different color pads on the bench. And the core team created a template and started testing different color combinations for the sun graphic we'd like on the city center library wall and social dome floor. The core team also redid the AutoCAD lighting specifics for the city center library to match the recent interior design updates. And then Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with our 112th week volunteering by remodeling the library in Dialux to test these new furniture layouts and developing the lighting designs. You can see some of this work here. 
and Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, continued helping with the Duplical City Center costs. This week, she researched new LED bulb options and continued updating the paint, primer, and sealer costs and area calculations. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Dally Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 17th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was floor, furniture, and table research, and finalizing the windows for the social and dining dome storyboards, some of which you can see under development here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 10th week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was researching solutions to dome design and import challenges with eTabs, then switching to SAP 2000 and working on newly identified AutoCAD errors when importing there. You can see some of this work here. Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 14th week as a researcher with our team. This week, she began researching the most sustainable hand dryer options for the upcoming most sustainable hand dryer options page. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan. We continued revising our goat care details by reviewing our daily goat routine at Chicka Woof Ranch video that focuses primarily on one farm's daily goat routine, and then transcribing the steps and adding them to our Google Doc. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his 15th week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. This week, he finished final edits and additions to wrap up his part of this open source component. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, Summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, continued with our second week of updating our business plan and editing related content to simplify several of associated overview pages. This week's focus was rewriting the values page and writing draft one of the SWOT analysis, open source library charter, and village construction charter. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 27th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the campaigns for the sustainable community building, taking care of earth, water saving toilets, and water saving shower heads. You can see some of this work here. And Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, helped review Emilio's work and created another tutorial video to help Emilio continue to refine the ads as he posts them. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of more good things in life for everyone everywhere. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, 
to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to send an email every time one of these email uh, one of these videos comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. Of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Uh, easiest way to help out is to join us on social media, to like this YouTube video, to join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks or to share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, and LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media, Instagram, of course, uh, to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, for people to share our information. So if you'd like to help out in that way, that's great. Also, if you'd like to donate to our project or have donated, thank you very much. It makes a big difference. We, like I said, are 100% volunteer, unpaid team. So 100% of donations goes towards forwarding our open source mission and helping to create open source content and helping us to uh, pay for our website expenses and things like that. None of it goes to paychecks because we're all unpaid volunteers and so you can uh, donate to us with confidence and know that we're doing good things and it all goes towards forwarding our mission helping more people everywhere create more good things in life through our open source tools tutorials resources and do-it-yourself instructions so that's what we're up to and with that said until next week we will of course keep on keeping on thanks for following our progress talk to you next week